Well, we now have the Betamax of the modern era. HD DVD is no more. The format lost out to competitor Blu-ray in the two-year battle to be the high-definition DVD champion. But what does it mean for you? Here to help us sort it all out is Brian Cooley, CNET's editor-at-large. Welcome, Brian. Hi, Clayton. Well, give us the big picture here. Toshiba says they've sold about 600,000 HD DVD players to U.S. consumers. Many of them, I'm sure, are watching today. What does this mean for them? Well, they have a really nice but dead-end system. Uh, this is going to be the end of the line for HD DVD as Blu-ray continues on and becomes the de facto winner in this battle to put high-definition movies on a disc because a standard DVD is not high def. Now, folks who bought an HD DVD player and obviously would have bought movies to go with it have a perfectly functional system. Nothing expires or becomes incompatible here. It will work till further notice with your high def TV. So it's not a waste of money. It's just a strategic waste of money. You're not going to be able to buy another deck for another part of your house in another month or two. You won't be able to buy any more movies. The supply will just dwindle down to nothing as existing stocks are sold. So it's not a crash and burn for people who bought this, but it's the end of the line. What if you're just fed up? You want to get rid of it? Maybe you just bought it a few weeks ago. Are stores taking them back? Uh, is eBay the answer? What do you do? Yeah, check with, you know, the stores typically are going to apply their normal return policy to this. This is not something the consumer should be penalized for. So if you're still in the return window, it's a product like any other. You just take it back. If they wanted to change that, they would have had to have done it at the time of sale. And obviously, these were just sold as regular products. So you can return it, I would imagine. Uh, and the, maybe the discs, although media return tends to be a little dicier. But the bottom line is it's probably not worth it unless you're just really uh, philosophically annoyed by buying a dead-end product. I'd keep it and enjoy those movies. Maybe you're going to end up buying a Blu-ray deck as well. That is messy, but, you know, it's, it's not a great situation no matter what if you invested in HD DVD. Now, up to this point, sales of HD DVD and Blu-ray uh, players and titles have been relatively lackluster when you compare it to regular DVD. Is this yeah. the green light? Were consumers holding back? Are they now going to rush out, and are we going to see Blu-ray sales go through the roof? I don't think so. I think Blu-ray is going to be... Um, the laser disc of our era, moderately successful, uh, very appealing to people who really are into movies and into video quality in the home. It's not the next DVD. That's my hunch because we're right now looking at a product that is basically a fidelity improvement. Beyond that, it's just like DVD as far as most consumers are, are concerned. They don't care about most of the special features. All they know is it's another silver disc that holds high def versus the other silver disc that also looks really good but this isn't high def. That's an incremental improvement, whereas DVD over VHS was like night and day. Better quality, indestructible media, random access, small form factor, easy to store, lots of back titles came out, all kinds of goodness. Going to Blu-ray or HD DVD, whichever one would have won, is just a matter of becoming a high fidelity medium, and we are not a nation of video files. Most of us want to see a good story. We're not too concerned about the resolution when push comes to shove, especially if it's an expensive revamp of our movie collection. Good things just got better. Introducing an all new third hour of Good Morning America. Welcome to Good Morning America Now. Good Morning America Now. Good Morning America Now. On ABC News Now. Get your Good Morning America Now at abcnewsnow.com.